Oh, I've spilled my drink. Oh, the humanity. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today I'm doing another viewer request. Uh, somebody asked me to cover parts one and two of the Goosebumps episode, The Haunted Mask. Um, which I was really excited about because I've never, oh my god, <laughs> I've never talked about Goosebumps on the show and I really, really loved it as a kid. I do want to point out that this pair of episodes has already been covered by Pushing Up Roses, who is a phenomenal YouTuber, much better than I am. So if you haven't seen her uh, review of the two episodes, I'm gonna link it because it's undoubtedly better than this review is gonna be. This review is gonna be chaos like always, but you know, it's gonna be fun, so. <laughs> I'm sure we all know what Goosebumps is, but if you've never gotten to experience it, it was an anthology kids horror show in the 90s. It was based off of the really popular book series. There were a million of them. Some episodes were definitely better than others, but this is definitely one of the better episodes for sure. It's so good, it's playing all by itself. Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. Hi. The horror begins when Carly Beth puts on the evil haunted mask. Oh, I can't wait to see how this one turns out. And it ends when she discovers there is nothing more powerful than the love of her family and friends. Spoiler alert! I think R.L. Stein just spoiled his own episode for us. When you're R.L. Stein, you get to do those kind of things and not really give a damn. Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. He looks at the camera like, okay, go away now, go watch the show. I didn't write it for nothing. I love R.L. Stein, man. Childhood staple, absolute legend. So it's almost Halloween. These two girls are going to get pumpkins. They seem to be more scared of the new novelty shop than they are about walking around in the middle of the night by themselves, which would definitely be the thing that would creep me up personally. Also, this guy just stares out his window at these two passers-by. Very normal thing to do. Why'd you have to wait till the last minute to get a pumpkin? Why does it have to be so creepy out here? Why is it four in the morning? <laughs> ah! Oh, I hate when people do that. Anyway, poor Carly. She thinks she's found a great pumpkin. It's a great pumpkin! Uh, but then, psych, it's actually just the two guys from school bullying her. <laughs> <laughs> and her friend is completely unfazed by two people just ambushing her friend and then what surprises her is the fact that it's two boys that they know. <laughs> She's like, huh? Isn't that strange? You're on your own, Carly. Hang on, Steve, get out of here. Last summer, they put that dead octopus on me. How did they get a dead octopus? Gosh, poor Carly. It's just... You're so scared, well, that's all. I am not. Come on, that's not fair. Yeah, way to blame the victim. Carly Beth needs new friends. I have spilled water down my dress. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, come here. I want to show you something. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Is it He-Man? Mom, it's me. This face is me. Oh. It's kind of creepy, Mom. What, don't you like it? Yeah, it's a really sweet gesture, Mom, but that would, <laughs> that would very much hurt my feelings as a middle school girl already going through some stuff. If my mom was just like, hey, I made this thing. It looks like a middle-aged cartoon character. It's supposed to be you. You saw a duck at the mall and you said you thought it might be fun to be a duck for Halloween. I made one for you. The mom's just so wholesome. She's like, hey, you remember six months ago when you said that that one thing might be a fun thing to dress up as? Well, I made one for you by hand without asking any more questions. <laughs> so Carly's freaked out from the bullying incident and also from this mask that's kind of sort of creepy. So she goes to her room where her brother is doing a very lackluster duck impersonation. Quack, 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 quack. Good lord, don't hit, oh my god. <laughs> Carly Beth the scaredy cat, Carly Beth the scaredy cat. I mean, you did just like physically attack her, what the hell? So next day at school, uh, this kid is eating something that looks like a very moldy sandwich. And the two boys from last night come back to mess with her some more, because they're jerks. And they put a live worm in her sandwich. <gasps> mm. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> and poor Carly Beth just is so upset that she takes off and runs all the way home. Yes, she just ditches out of her afternoon classes, which is understandable at this point, I guess. <laughs> 
whoa, hey, hey, what did the duck costume do to you? <laughs> so she takes all of her money and she goes back to the novelty shop that she and her friends saw the night before. <coughs> what are you doing here? Oh, whoa. Does he do that to everybody that comes into the store? How does he have any customers? Can you imagine walking into a store and the clerk is just like, what are you doing here? Get out. <laughs> Okay, okay, I just wanted to buy a Jimmy Neutron t-shirt. Get out of here, this is in 2003. I, I really need a mask, it won't be long. Everything I have is up on the walls. Five minutes. So he gives her five minutes to pick out a mask and then goes and answers the phone and I'm just really, really entertained by whatever conversation he's having in the background. We don't have time, we don't have time. You order two. I can't go on without it. I don't care about the customs, something. I don't care about customs, ah! I think that's what he said. But in the back room, she finds these masks. They kind of look like a cross between like the Walking Dead masks that all the zombie extras wear and the singing busts from the Haunted Mansion. No! I said no! And the store clerk is very unhappy about this. You're not supposed to be here. I mean, you told her to pick out a mask. How was she supposed to know? It's a really frightening gorilla mask out front. It's made with real gorilla hair. Oh no, real gorilla hair? That means you had to take it from a real gorilla. No! Please, please! You locked the door behind you? Why did you lock the door behind you if you just wanted her to leave? Anyway, uh, she does this weird kind of half stealing where she she takes the mask, but she also kind of just throws the money in his general direction, which I, don't, I think that might still be stealing. What am I doing? It's gonna be great. And I love that she gets outside the store and she's like, wait, what am I doing? I can't just like swipe this mask from this guy. Oh well, I'm sure it won't be that bad. So she puts the mask on back at home. It fits her face and it also changes her voice. Wow. I've been trying to figure out since watching this episode the first time around what the voice reminds me of. I th I think it's um I think it's at the end of Emperor's New Groove when Yzma's voice changes when she's a little cat. Is that my voice? Is that my voice? Or something. Hey Noah. <gasps> Just get me away. Curly Bess? Don't you recognize my clothes? I mean the mask is a little bit more distracting to be fair. But when she tries to take off the mask, uh oh. It won't come off. But she finally does pry it off her face, but then puts it right back on because she has to leave to go trick-or-treating with her friend. She's just like, huh, weird that I almost suffocated in that thing. Sure, it won't happen again. Oh, and then she does this really terrifying thing where she takes the, the head that's supposed to look like her that her mom made and she puts it on a stick and like wraps a like red scarf around it, like blood, so it looks like her own decapitated head. It's very dark. <laughs> Carly Beth, wait up, I want to see what your duck costume looks like. I don't think this is a mom approved costume. Oh, that must be your dad. I, I hope his trip's going well. Oh, oh, hi, honey. Is Chicago going well? I don't know why I find that particular line funny. It's not really that weird. I'm being nitpicky, but like, I don't know. That's just a funny way to word that question. Hey, honey, how's Chicago going? No, not your business trip, just all of Chicago. How's the entire city of Chicago doing? <laughs> Sorry, moving on. So Carly Beth is just wreaking havoc through the entire neighborhood. She's terrifying children. You better watch what you say to me if you know it's good for you. <laughs> She's stealing stuff. Why you leave us alone? <laughs> it's, it's a big mess. Hey, Sabrina. Boo. And that head it looks so real. Where'd you get it? Oh, it's me. It's who I used to be. Ooh, chilling, isn't it? I'm not gonna believe this, but it feels like real skin. Ooh, I don't like where that's going. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, guys, here we are. We've made it to part two. We're halfway done. How you doing? You hanging in there? You need a drink refill? I'll wait. It's okay. <laughs> so Carly Beth is right where we left her. She's being a pain in the ass to everybody around her. It's Halloween night. It's not me, Sabrina. It's the mask. The mask made me do it. The mask made you do it? I mean, I'm never a fan of when people try to shirk the responsibility of their own bad decisions off on anybody else or anything else but themselves, but also that's gotta be one of the worst arguments I've heard, right? Like, I know it's a supernatural mask, I get that, but like, the mask made me do it? Come on, Carly Beth. 
You know that's not entirely true. Let's just go back to my house, okay? Is it weird that I'm also kind of terrified of the friend's costume? We talked about this in the last video with the stop motion movie stuff, how I have this weird fear of inanimate things that I shouldn't be afraid of. I guess maybe the mask, the felt mask is creepy to me. I don't know. Like, does anybody else have a similar phobia? What's the science behind that? There's got to be some kind of psychology behind that, right? So meanwhile, the two boys that were bullying Carly Beth are looking over their candy and playing in the cemetery, as the kids do. <laughs> Meanwhile, Carly Beth, she's still running around smashing pumpkins. But she finally catches up to the two bully boys. 16 men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and away we go. Were they not as allowed to say yo ho ho and a bottle of rum because it was a kids show. I feel like that was why and that's really funny because like 90s kids TV was that weird gray area where it was like oh yeah we can show a kid pretending to trick-or-treat as a decapitated version of herself but we can't tell kids that alcohol exists. So she really scares the shit out of these two kids in the middle of the cemetery. It's actually pretty terrifying. For every time you scared her, for every time you made people laugh at her, we, we were just goofing around. We only did it because we liked her. Okay, that's lame though. That's a lame excuse, my guys. The age old, if boys are mean to you, that's because they like you. Why? That feels like a very unreliable way to convey that you like somebody to me. <laughs> sorry, Carly Beth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. Help me. Oh God, it's just genuinely so anxiety inducing. <laughs> You think the moon gets tired of so many people howling at it all the time? It's like, stop yelling at me, I've got things to do. Poor moon. So she just straight up digs a hole in the graveyard and buries the head in the, in the cemetery, which feels illegal, but you know, bigger fish to fry. Moving on. They really do a good job. I don't know if it's the same little girl in the costume the entire time or if there's a double in there at all, but I really do like the way they pull off like the physical acting side of the character because they've got the mask on the whole time. So it could have been really easy for like the emotion of the episode to get lost and all that, but like they did a really good job. I can feel all of the like anger and panic. I don't know. I just thought that was a cool thing. So they get back to the house and Carly Beth can't get the mask off again. Carly Beth, what is it? Uh, mask? It, it, it won't come off. Really? In fact, this time she's discovered that it's just completely infused with her skin, which is horrifying. Poor Carly Beth. Maybe we can cut it off like with scissors or a knife. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't cut towards your face, girl. Don't do that. <laughs> Very dangerous. What are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be mean, but I'm not. I'm supposed to be mean, but I'm not. Legitimately my favorite line in the entire special. I was expecting you. <laughs> Get it off me. I know. This is a little bit beside the point, but I like to imagine that that uh, shopkeeper, the second that she ran off with the mask, he was just like, <sighs> all right, I guess I'm pulling an all-nighter tonight. This kid's gonna come back with the mask stuck on her face. Better order some dominoes. I cannot remove that mask. <laughs> Why not? Because it is not a it is a real face. Um, couple questions. I will hold them for later. They weren't ugly in the beginning. They changed. They became hideous. So the shopkeeper basically is like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, these masks are my attempts at creating a real perfect face. And every time I tried, uh, the ugliness inside my personality made the faces themselves ugly. Very profound. I do have a couple of questions about like, how did he separate them from his face? Like, is it real? Cause she said it, this friend said it felt like real skin. So like, is it made from real skin? Where did he get the real skin? Oh my God, I need to not think about this too much. It's probably not that deep. I just have a lot of questions. I cannot take it off. Only you can. With a symbol of love. So she's told that she needs a symbol of love to get the mask off, and then all the other masks chase her out of the store. Run! Run! Very terrifying. What did you trip over, girl? Love us, Carly Beth. Oh, it's so creepy. I love it. So she runs back to the cemetery, she digs up the, the head mannequin thing that her mom made. And once she does that, she can get the mask off.
Yay! And then she runs back home. Please, Carly Beth, please! The mask off! I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha! Not cool, kid. Mom? So she hugs her mom. They have a moment. It's really cute. Uh, Noah, don't put on that mask. Don't worry, I won't. Trick or treat! <laughs> and she tells her little brother, hey, don't put the mask on. And he's like, I won't. And then he does. And she's like, hey, what the hell did I just say? Now that wasn't too scary, was it? Nah. Nah. I wasn't scared. I'm an adult. Mom? Dad? What did you think? Same. <laughs> Have a scary day, everyone. And that's the end of the two-part special, Goosebumps, The Haunted Mask. I'm 100% uh, in agreement with Pushing Up Roses when she said in her video that this was definitely one of the best episodes. Ah! This is peak Goosebumps. This is just honestly top tier Goosebumps episodes. I really enjoyed this episode. And it's nice to just sit down and watch Goosebumps again. I haven't done that in ages. I used to love Goosebumps, love the books. Remember the Choose Your Own Adventure books? That was my jam, you guys. But yeah, what did you guys think of it? Do you have a favorite Goosebumps episode? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and sharing and just doing everything you do to support this channel, to support me. I'm blown away by the positivity that you guys show in the comments and I just, I'm really grateful for it. So thank you so much. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And ring that bell because my upload schedule is as chaotic as I am. But remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye.